new from Eureka Classics is Broken Oath, which turns out to be a remake of Lady Snowblood. And this one throws you quickly into a, a wonderful story of a woman being imprisoned. And uh, she doesn't really settle into prison life too well. All the other prisoners hate her because she's seducing all the men, just sleeping with everybody and not leaving any for any of the other prisoners. And they kind of beat her. Uh, they're aggressive towards her but when she becomes pregnant her plan comes out she's having a child to avenge her and her husband's death going to love these kind of stories where the, the, the revenge isn't quick in coming. It's a long period of time. It's generational as we have here. And we have Angela Mao as a Lotus at this one. She is taken by one of the prisoners when they're released and given to Buddhist community to, to kind of grow up and learn there. But as she spent the last 20 years there learning her craft, her martial arts, turns out she's a little bit too murderous for the Buddhists and they're going to send her into the world to do Whatever she needs to do, you'll get rid of this murderous intent that she has and come back. And that's when she discovers that she has a mission. A mission that she never knew she had. Her um, grandparent, the woman who brought her out of the prison, tells her that her mother died, her father died at the hands of these four men. And now she must track them down and kill them. <laughs> And it's a really kind of impactful story because I feel like Angela Mao here as Lotus gets to do more than just kick ass. She is a woman on a, of a purpose. You know, she's looking to get revenge. It's emotional. She's making connections along the way. Uh, she's hurting people that she doesn't want to hurt. It feels as if there's more of an impact to this role than in general. Uh, there is a ridiculous amount of scorpion action in this as well as one of her key weapons is just throwing scorpions at people. Early on at the start, she throws one at a man almost like a poison dart. <laughs> it's just wonderful. That's not to say that she doesn't break out uh, her martial arts, which she does often, and it is terrific. Every fight scene is jaw-droppingly awesome, it's well choreographed, it's kinetic, and it is just stunning to look at. You kind of know early on what kind of character we have here with Lotus. So she's just a young girl practicing martial arts in the woods when three men stumble across, uh, upon her, threatening her uh, with rape, and she just <laughs> instantly kills all of them, torturing the last guy because he got to have a little bit of fun in these things. Although the story isn't the most original, I would say it's bolstered by a bunch of supporting characters that are really interesting. Some of them make their all the way through the movie, some of them don't. You get a side story of a person, a bad guy with political aspirations is looking to overthrow the authorities. So you have some government officials hiding in his gang and we have uh, these groups of people all kind of working against each other but for a similar purpose. And that just bolsters the story a lot more than just having that clean revenge as the main driving force in this one. Me? Yeah. Uh, not that I don't I, I mind the revenge story, but just giving it a little bit more oomph adds to the film. It allows other characters to come in, to keep it fresh, to add a little bit more weight, to add a little bit more uh, empathy as we lose some of these characters that we've grown to like throughout it. It just all adds to a wonderful finale. And just on a side note, I 
really do love uh, these Asian films, especially how they end, because there is no epilogue whatsoever. Bad guy's dead, boom, credits. Uh, you've got to one uh, wonder like why why nothing after that is that just everything after that would just be down that's the final point of the movie bad guy's dead hero wins hopefully and just stop it uh, it's a great kind of ending to all these films I suppose just the way it just stops so I thought Broken Oath was terrific I was engaged I like Angela Mao I think she is a very charismatic lead here she's emoting a lot more while still doing great action. You can see the kind of rage. You can see her uh, controlling that rage and being seductive when she has to be to try and get what she wants. Uh, when it comes to the action set pieces, she's phenomenal, as always. It's just a, a terrific film. Great story, great action, well shot. Some really deliciously bad, evil men to root against. And yeah. You kind of know where the story's going to go, but it doesn't matter because it's the story and getting there, which is really fun. Let's dive into the extras for Broken Oath and see what there are. We are in the disc for Broken Oath. We have the Hong Kong theatrical cut, which runs at 1 hour 38 minutes, and it comes in the original Mandarin mono audio, to mono audio, and a commentary by Frank Jen. Cut, which runs at 1 hour 42 minutes, is the original Mandarin mono audio and an audio commentary by Mike Leader and Arne Venema. Sure, we have Broken Oath and Appreciation by Andrew Heskins, which runs at 11 minutes 54 seconds. It focuses a lot on Angela Mao and her place within the Asian market and how she was a kind of front runner for a lot of people that would follow her footsteps later on. And a little bit of a, a dig because she was classed as the female. Bruce Lee, but Lady World Wind was released before uh, Bruce Lee's first change. Scorpion vs. Katana. As a look at the films, uh, as a comparison, we have Blood and we have Lady Snowblood, and we're just looking at what separates these films, even though they're based on the same story, and trailer as well. Also included in this is a 28-page booklet with two essays in it, From Whirlwind to Lotus, Angela Mao and the Broken Oath, and we have Sympathy for Lady Whirlwind, Broken Oath and Lady Snowblood. And that's the extras for Broken Oath. There we have it, Broken Oath out now. Thoroughly recommend this one. This is one of the better Asian films, I would say, from UK Classics. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. I don't have a bad thing to say about it. Just really fun uh, and so much scorpion deaths, <laughs> which hey, I never knew was a thing that I needed but Broken Oath delivered it. I'd love to know your thoughts on this film, so let me know in the comment box below whether you love it, hate it, or feel somewhere in the middle. As always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to Patreon, Membership Programme, and manvfilm.com. Always, in which you can support me. Thanks for watching. See you next time.